Hello fellow apes, my name is Seb. Today we're going to be covering how you can mint your own Degenerate Ape Academy NFT. These will be launching on the Solana network and they'll be coming August 13th, 5 p.m. PST time. Make sure you use a converter to find out what time that is for your time zone. There's been a lot of hype. They've gone from over 1,000 followers to over 12,000 followers. The team has had a couple of giveaways, one with the Boring Protocol, as you can see over 1,000 likes, and another with Audius with over 2,600 likes. If you scroll through their Twitter or jump in their Discord, you'll see there's quite a bit of hype around this project. I think the hype is high because the apes are damn cool. If you jump into the website right now, all you see is just a placeholder. This is what the actual website looks like. They're just putting on some finishing touches at the moment. The enrollment fee is six Solana. That is about 253 US dollars at the moment. We're gonna have a little bit more, about 6.1 sol, just so we've got plenty of gas money. Maximum mints. 10,000. They plan to have upcoming utility. They have plans to give back to a charity. And each of the apes is going to have its own rarity. That's still being worked out at this stage. And at the bottom, we have our frequently asked questions. This is what the interface is once you want to come and actually mint your ape. It's the Apentosh. You'll connect your wallet. You'll go to mint.exe. I'll be using the Phantom wallet. I suggest only using the Phantom wallet. It's just a faster wallet. However, it doesn't work on mobile phones. The Discord community voted you can only mint one NFT per transaction. There is no overall limit, but this is just to prevent whales from buying lots in one single transaction. As it's on Solana, there are no gas walls. You cannot influence your gas. You just have to pay the normal rate, which doesn't change. If you watch this video and the landing page is still like this, they do have the frequently asked questions at the bottom here as well. Let's go ahead and set up our wallets. All right, we'll come to phantom.app, click on add to Chrome up in the right hand side. As we can see, it has 40,000 users and 57 five star reviews. So we know it's the correct one. We'll click add to Brave and add extension. Just so you're aware, this has the same permissions as MetaMask. At this stage, I go up to my extensions tab, click on that and click on the pin icon. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a new wallet. Click on create new wallet, copy my seed phrase. Be very secure with your seed phrase. Do not lose it. Keep it very, very safe. Okay, I saved it somewhere. Put in a password. Read the terms and service, save, and continue. If you want to, you can click on help and you can follow the basics just here if you need to. Installing Phantom, where to get soul, how to deposit soul. But we're going to cover that now. This is CoinGecko. Scroll on down, click on markets, and we can see Binance, OKX, FTX, Coinbase, plus many, many others. They all have Solana. You can buy Solana on one of these exchanges and then you can transfer it to your wallet. I'm going to be using FTX. This is more of a complicated exchange, but I'll also quickly show you with CoinSpot, which is a very easy Australian exchange. I assume you know how to buy Solana on an exchange. I've already bought 6.1 Solana, as we can see here. I'm going to click on Withdraw, and then I'm going to go up to my Phantom Wallet. Up the top here, where it says Copy to Clipboard, I'm going to click this. You can also click it like so. It's the same address. If you just click it here, it's faster. I'm going to withdraw 6.1 sol. 6 is for the ape and 0.1 is for the gas. You won't need that much gas. If you really want to, you can just do 6.05. I'm going to paste in my sol address. Then before I send it, I'm going to go up to my phantom wallet. I'm going to check the first three characters, QCH, correct. And then the last three, SED, they are all correct. Put in our two-factor code and withdraw. If you're using a simpler exchange such as CoinSpot, it's exactly the same. You click on buy and you go and buy some and then you come over and you click on send. They have a transaction fee of 0.01 sol. I'm going to click on send all available. Go back to my wallet, copy the address, paste it, go back to my wallet, verify QCH, correct, SED, SED, put in my two factor and then send. Obviously this would be 6.1 sol. Now we're back at FTX. Just a reminder, it probably takes 10 to 20 minutes for a centralized exchange to send your Solana, but it's a good idea to have it sent earlier, just in case they're trying to, at the last minute, stop it or they need further identification from you. You can see my Solana has arrived. Don't worry about this minus amount. This just means that in the last 24 hours, the price has dipped slightly with the Solana token. A quick pro tip, come up to the three horizontal lines, click Add Connect Wallet, Create new wallet, go back to wallet number one, click on Solana, click wallet two. We're going to send a very small amount of Solana into the second wallet just in case we ever need that extra money for gas. Now we have a little bit of Solana in this wallet just in case in the future 
we run out of Solana, we don't have to go back to a centralized exchange necessarily. Go back to wallet number one. Now I've gone to radium.io. You do not have to add this step. This is just so you're familiar with how to connect your wallet. I'm going to click on launch app and up here I'm going to click connect. I'm going to select phantom and click connect. To get a tiny bit of familiarity, I'm going to click on Ray, type in Sol. Down here, I'm going to click on USDC and I'm just going to mint a very small amount, 0 0.01, and click on swap. Proof and click on my wallet. And now you can see I've got a little bit of USDC in my wallet. If I want to, I can convert it back. I can just push this button in the middle here, click max, and swap it back. This is just to get you familiar with how the wallet works. We have our soul ready, we have some money for gas. We have backup gas, which is not necessary, but we've got it if we need to. The next step is I'm going to show you Solet. The Solet wallet is solet.io. This is the only website for Solet. Anything else is a scamming website and they will steal your funds. Phantom is my preferred wallet. Solet is only a backup. I'm going to click on restore existing wallet. And this is where we import our seed words. We can type them in here. We can go to Phantom, settings, scroll down, show secret recovery phrase our password, copy and paste. We can set a password here and then hit next. You normally don't need to change this up the top. As long as you can see your soul, you're fine. We'll click restore. This is our wallet right here. I'm going to click on account, click add account, name, backup wallet, and add. This is my backup wallet here with a little bit of soul as we know. Change to my main account and here's my soul. Let's go and get familiar with Radium once more. Click on Radium. We will disconnect. Now we'll click on Solet Web. You can toggle this on or keep it off. We'll click Connect, swap this over, and we'll get 40 more cents of USDC. Just so we're familiar with how to use the application. Go back to our Solet wallet, refresh, and we have 40 cents there. Go back to Radium, push this middle button, click Max, and convert it back to Sol. You only need to do that step if you need more familiarity. I'm not trying to hype it up, I'm not trying to add FOMO. But there is a possibility that this could sell out really, really quickly. Therefore, you better be prepared. This is what it looks like on your mobile phone. Go to solit.io. I'm using the Brave browser here on my Android phone. I'm going to scroll down, click Restore Existing Wallet, and put in my seed phrase. You can add a password if you like. Click Next. This is the account we want to derive. Scroll on down, restore, and now let's go and test Radium. Click Launch App, Connect, Solid Web. Connect, Wallet connected. We'll do the test again. USDC. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do this on a computer. This window here must be kept open, and as you can see, we've got a bit of USDC. We'll change that back into Sol and swap it back. Don't do this too many times. You will lose a little bit of money in fees and with gas, but gas is less than one cent. It's just to be familiar. And that's how you use your mobile phone. If you have any questions, read the frequently asked questions. And if it's not there, please jump into the Discord channel, which will be linked below. And make sure you're prepared with your Solana in your wallet with gas money. So 6.1 Sol is what I recommend. Good luck with getting an ape. If you cannot mint one, you will be able to get one on a secondary market, but I do not know at what price. Please like, subscribe, yada yada yada. See you next time. Thanks.